Thank you. My name is Dennis. I'm an oncology social worker here in Denver. And um, I'm just, what, what a privilege and honor it is to be here. And I've been an oncology social worker for, uh, this September will be 17 years. And last year I was invited to come here as one of the counselors on the ground. So I've, I, I got to spend last year in the, in, in the room there and, and attend some sessions. I get to meet people out in the community and, you know, at a party or, you know, with families and my kids and people say, what do you do for a living? You do that small talk business and, and you kind of, you say, I'm an oncology social worker and they just kind of back up and say, oh, that must be really hard. That must be really depressing. And I have kind of a line developed over the years because I get to say what I'd like to share with you tonight and that's that. I am witness to hurt and heartache. I do a lot of counseling, I do a lot of resources, and people share their stuff with me in, in that closed, closed, protected space for us. And uh, I get to hear that hurt, that heartache, that sadness, and I get to see people find their way, whatever that looks like. Whether cancer gets to go away and stay away, whether it continues to stay present. And people sit in my office and they lean up in the chair, unsolicited, without just me being present. And they say, look, Dennis, I wouldn't wish this cancer on my worst enemy, but this unwelcome visitor did come into my life, and I can't make it go back. Let me list off for you the ways that it's taught me, that I got blessings, that it grew me. And that's not what someone else told me I should get from cancer, or what you suggested, Dennis. That's what I choose to freely get from this unwelcome visitor. And I get to sit there in that presence. And you know, I might have been driving in on the way to my job that day saying, you know, this traffic is a pain in the ass in Denver. And then I get there and I'm like, you know, it's gonna be okay. I used to live close to our clinic and I, I uh, the, about the second or third year, so I used to ride my bike every day to and from work. And I walked out to the driveway and uh, to the garage and someone had broken into it and stolen my bike. That's a terrible feeling, feeling of violation. I'm like, oh man. And I put the garage back together and was trying to think, how am I getting to work today? And we get the one car and, and I said, you know, and I got a hot Irish temper and I thought, all right then, you're going into a cancer clinic today. Um, every single one of your patients and families would like to change places with you. It's a piece of plastic and metal and rubber and that's it. So how much space are you gonna let this rent in your head? And, um, and that's special. That's the gift that you all give me today. That's the gift that people give me as they visit with me in my clinic and during this weekend. Thanks for letting me share.